Hey guys, it's your boy Big Joe 9445 and a restaurant on downtown Puerto Rico, California just opened. I would say like like a month ago. It was recent. Mr. Cone. They better have ice cream at this place because why would you call it Mr. Cone? Because there is a place in Visalia, California called Mr. Cone. And I see that that they that they do sell ice cream there. Yeah, I see that that they sell ice cream there. So really the this place couldn't come up with, with another name that is not related to ice cream. And the only thing they sell is just wings. That's it. Just wings. What kind of business is this? Well, yeah, they serve wings, uh, the veggie stick, and fry. That's about it. It's not like, like Wingstop where they where you can get corn. Yeah. Because Wingstop is, is the same thing. Except that uh, they have uh, corn, they have brownies. But this place, they only have wings and fries and veggie stick. And right now, I'm looking at this at this price and it's expensive. For six piece of wings, $13.50. And it includes fries. And I'm not sure if this includes the drink, but if it doesn't, this is ridiculous. Like, what is this? I can literally, a uh, wing stop, I can get 20 wings, a large fry, and a large ranch for $17 plus tax. This is just outrageous. Because back then, I did say that, that the more expensive the food is, the better it's going to taste. But I solved my theory. And now, a cheap food can be amazing. Depends how they cook it. Well, let's read some of these reviews. Okay, Joshua went in with my hope super high. Restaurant looks nice inside, but the food does it, doesn't match. Food is expensive for a small portion. You literally get a kid's portion of fries with your wings and their special sauce. Tastes like Raising cane special sauce. Pathetic. Da, that's it. Thomas P. I recently went to Mr. Cone to see what the fuse is about since I heard mixed reviews from the place and all I can say is disappointing. The service was good and the inside restaurant was wonderful but the main problem was the food and how expensive the food was due to the tasting mechanical. You see? Way too expensive. People don't like it. Hopefully it gets shut down. Even if the food comes out good, I still want to shut down. Well, they still can't put the real sign, but at least they put something. But this is pathetic. Well, but that inside, it's super nice with those LED lights. A nice atmosphere that this has. I like how the podium is in the middle of the restaurant and the bar is in the back. Well, this took uh, 15 minutes. A reasonable time. I ended up getting a uh, 10 wing. I ended up getting the chilemon sweet and sour. It's all the way up at the scale. And and the other one's barbecue. Well, uh, apparently this place does not have a to-go cup. They have one for Sprite and Coke. But the rest of the drinks, no. That would be dined in. Or, or I probably misunderstood and, and they said that that they were out of the of all the other drinks. How the hell are you gonna be out of a drink? This doesn't make sense. Those fries are looking good. Oh, this plate also comes with the uh, with its veggie sticks. Even if I didn't order them, but that's okay. It came with its fork. That's good. Ew, they, these are soggy off the bat. Um, a little crisp to it. Um, that sauce does taste like, like king sauce, like how they said in the reviews. But these fries are, are soggy. Um, but it has those uh, amazing flavors. Um, it has that, that crispiness to it. Um, these fries remind me of In-N-Out. Um, they're not cold. That's a good thing. Um, the, the nice saltiness. The sweetness on the, on the sauce. What is this? Um, I wonder what's wrong with this place. They couldn't do a large ranch like Wingstop? Um, uh, yeah, the, the fries passed. Um, a 7 out of 10. I cannot tell a difference of these wings. I forgot which ones, uh, what flavor I got barbecue. If it was the bonus or the, the traditional. Such an idiot sandwich. Well, that is not tender at all. Ew, that's so hard. I never had a wing like this. What is this? 
Yeah, just look at that. A small portion. I mean, the sauce has that, the spiciness to it, that sweetness to it. That's the only thing good about these wings, the bonus ones. Tastes good. That fresh cut on the carrot. I swear I never seen, nah, this is like an okay size. See, I'm, I'm telling you, it's super dry, even with the sauce. This is not juicy at all. This place has has to step up their, their game. I wanna, going back to those fries, it's a mix of In-N-Out fries and nasty McDonald's fries. Oh no. This is why you guys should cook at home. Because you can add all the, the amazing seasonings to it. Just add that salt and pepper. And you'll be good. That's salt and pepper. And if you want to go all beyond, add some spices to it. Oh, come on, good. They all cut them in cubes. Well, the, the, the ranch is, is amazing. Nice and creamy. That nice buttermilkness to it. Buttermilkness. But I had better. Where are you guys getting these wings from? Like, seriously, where did this come from? You can just hear that, that crispiness. Literally came off the bat. That one was juicy. That that spiciness, that sweetness that this flavor has. I'm, I'm guessing this is the the hottest one. No, I, I don't think so. I'm, I don't know. I'm, yeah, an, an average one. This one's better. Now it's tender. Now it's juicy. Oh damn no! Do not order a bonus wings. At least something good came out of this. Well, it has that perfect spiciness to it. I can't believe I'm doing this. I never thought I was going to do this with this video. That is good. A clean bone. There, done, done. Just imagine it, if this was a bonus one, it would not come off that easy. So if, if you guys can do it bone in, then you guys should be able to do it boneless. Well, now it's got me thinking, I never tried um, bone in at Wingstop, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out good. They, that, that spiciness is, is now hitting me. <laughs> the nice glaze on it. Off the bone. That is crazy. This is a shocker. Dang that, that spiciness. Ah. Well, it blew my mind. This place blew my mind. But I'm still pissed at that price. And it's basically like like two dollars a wing. Wow, wow, what a shocker! Did not see that one coming. I have no words, no words at all. Would I come back? No. Too expensive. Way too expensive. I'm not coming back. But if you guys are trying it for the first time, yes, I would recommend it just once. But to come back, no, they don't even serve ice cream. And I can put the, the reason on why they name it Mr. Cone, yeah, because I found it on Yelp. And yeah, you, you guys can read that. Is that something about 
to enjoy your wings better basically like a dessert if you guys haven't seen my video of the the three versus yogurt yeah something like that yeah i'm talking like something like that but who the hell would want fries mixed with wings yeah who, who wants that probably in a smash bowl or i'll not uh the fries they're just gonna lose flavor you're not gonna get your traditional flavor and close the bag they will not get their end of the applause. Um, at least they tried, but no. <laughs> Don't come here. I mean, just once, but no. That's pretty much going to close out for today's amazing banger. The Angry Joe. Cut in the crossfire